How's it going everyone? My name is Bikua, welcome back to Frambo. Now, when we left off, uh, we got to see some horrifying things. And we, I forgot that I had all these freaking items in my inventory. I have no idea what to do with those. Hopefully I could problem solve like I did the past two episodes. Oh, wait, there was a ghost girl right here. Uh, I guess now she's gone. So what's the... Oh, okay, I thought that was something. Oh my goodness, the smell! The poor girl, who could have done this? And why? Oh, I don't know, I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. Probably, uh, some old records. Jan- Jans. The blueberry- Huh. Maybe this ant was Anthony. Uh, yeah, it was, so this is his band. Neat! You got a, uh, I can't put these on? Yeah, yeah, okay, it's him. Alright, anyways. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hello, Mr. Owl. Owls and cats are a bit alike. There's so many books. Eh, I wouldn't say owls and cats are dissimilar. Uh, can I use this? But there's no paper. Do I, did I pick up any paper? I have that. Can I use that? Nope. There's a book here. Um, what's over here? Uh, nothing. Alright, am I still gonna go in the sewer if I go down here? Yes, I am. So, that, I did not need to go down there. Stairs end up in a wall. Oh, that's a little bit... discouraging. Discouraging, I think that's a word. Uh, let's go... in the cellar? Okay. <laughs> that actually kind of scared me a bit. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 not doing this. I have a huge fear of, um, I forgot, oh god, but I I'm gonna finish up. I have a huge fear of, like, uh, mannequins and, like, uh, inanimate objects. There's there's a, a word for it, like, some kind of something phobia, but I don't remember what it's called. But yes, I do not like mannequins or dolls. Um, little keyhole, interesting. A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Is it because you are a vampire? There, there we go. Solve the game. Friends of Vampire. Uh, perfume smells like teenagers. Very girly. How, how do you smell like a teenager? Oh, that it's that monster and so much blood. Mm-hmm. White candles everywhere. I have black candles, though. Will that do anything? Nope. And this horrifying picture. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't see these dolls here. Uh, hello, doll. Who caught you? Oh, this never happens to me. Hmm, foreshadowing, perhaps? Ah, uh, am I still in the sewer when I'm up here? Yes, I am. Alrighty then. Why is... Interesting. Alright, okay, now I'm back all the way back here. Cozy and warm. Okay, well... It seems that I've hit a blockade. So I need to figure out what I can do to get out of this puzzle, I guess you could call it. So that means that I have to uh, figure out a use for something here. Water should be boiling for this to work. Okay, let's go get some water then. Looks like I'm going to be cooking. Oh boy. Alright, that for the water. Um, if I turn the faucet on, maybe the water... Oh. Really? I really have to click that first to use it? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Got some water. Great. Oh, I should turn the faucet off, because that is what you're supposed to do. Alright, I need to open this, I'm assuming. Open this? No, I don't have to open this? Oh, I forgot to turn on the fire. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's logical. Like that. And use this to boil. There. Great. Some boiling water. Um. What is this again? Flower vase. Maybe I should put some crayons in there? No. I really want to know what those crayons are used for. Not sure if this is a good in the soup. I should find a recipe. This window have to find a recipe. And why is this... Maybe they didn't have enough to paint everything. Yeah, I, I noticed this in the last video, like, just this section's off. Hmm. Where am I gonna find a recipe? 
I didn't even see a spot for a recipe. Hmm, weird. Uh, let's see. Can I grab this? Hmm, alright then. A recipe, you say? Interesting. Hmm, well, I don't recall anything of finding a recipe, so maybe I can just wing it. I'll try just winging it. Nothing here, just just double checking. Okay, um, oh, you know what? Maybe I can use the crayon with this? No, that's, that's too obvious, I suppose. Alright, a uh, weird sea with boiling water? I'm not sure if this is good in the soup. I really need to go find this recipe. Oh, maybe... No, I can't cut that up. Alright, well, it looks like I need to go find some recipe. Oh, you know what? I didn't go up here. And that's why I didn't want to come up here! Oh, what is that? Oh, no! No, please, no! So together... Uh, oh, God. I didn't need to see that. Uh, uh, Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Oh, what's in there? I don't think it's Mr. Midnight. Uh, I'm here for you? Or is it really you? Oh, dear, finally. Let me see you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, it was Mr. Midnight. Alright, I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. Aw, I love you too, Mr. Midnight. And I did miss you. Oh, dear friend, how did you find this place? Well, it's a bit of a, a story. So those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. I shall save you! We need to- oh yeah, I forgot about Aunt Grace. Uh, Fran, I'm tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. <coughs> Excuse me, everything is gonna be okay. We just need to get the frick out of here. Sure, what, what do you need? I'm all ears. Did you feel my presence in your dreams? I'm sure, yeah, totally. Uh, told me the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. That's a little bit discouraging. Uh, every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. A presence? What kind of a presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's magic! Uh, <laughs> Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Uh, no. Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you! Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, creepy. Foxy, I know I could take you out of here. A pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. No, that's not a pretty doll. Uh, oh god, the toys in the attic always carry sadness with them. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. No, that rat's dead. I kind of foresaw him being dead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yikes, that, that scared me pretty good. What the? Oh, you scared me. You sc We scared you. Uh, I don't think so, Mrs. I guess, plural? I thought nobody was living here. There you are, we were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head's just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? Uh, what are you talk talking about? I'm, I'm pretty lost. Friend, bro, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? How did you know? This all seems to and something was up with her teacup. They want to take a drink. Uh, we are part of this world, but don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. Yeah, I, something kind of messed up here. 
Uh, I wish... No, I, I, I'm feeling pretty lost. I wish nothing bad had happened to me. I feel completely lost. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Um, well, they're kind of dead, so... I can't come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It'll make you feel better. <sighs> yeah, who... Where are you getting your info? Are you scared, little friend? I'm confused as... Oh, really? <laughs> you haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's a very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in the cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? Uh... Whatever you say, girl. You want him back. He is my best friend. I'll, I'll go... I'll play along. I don't want to upset people in this world. Before we set them free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped, I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. Place. They opened up the heads of children to find what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find a way out. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. That's fabulous, right? And then I made a door, and that door took me here. Then I got, like, raped with some veiny hand things. But then I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, and I saw a real pinecone family. Yeah, that was creepy. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Anthony's house. They like berries. Okay, friend, wrap it up. Oh, and I saw flying in insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I'm here. I'm looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, friend? Are you 10? I'm just gonna say I'm not sure. I'm not sure anymore. I think I'm 10 years old. We are 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. So then, wait, much older than you, so you have to obey us. Uh, you don't, you can't tell me what I can and can't do. You haven't even asked their names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around the house without permission. Very true. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Whoa, hey! Whoa! My parents just died. Come on, stop that, please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as you say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? You don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot, you asked for it. If you don't do what, we're, wh what we ask for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. Uh, you're kind of a brat. You're evil and poisoned, but I'll do whatever you say. Good, now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Because magic is magical. <laughs> Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe, but cautious, be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things will happen. Okay, so now you're giving me the recipe. Oh, okay. Um, do it yourselves? Question mark? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. Oh, okay, so you weren't born like that. You, We used to be two different people in two different bodies. Not born like that, are, are we? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, though it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. Ugh. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. I don't think 16-year-old girls should be messing with demon deities and just, like, telling him off. That doesn't sound like it'll work for anyone. Yeah, except for the demon, maybe. Uh, and a very nutty girl. And you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. Uh, I'll talk to him. Yeah, why not? Let me give him some food. No, you can't. And friend, do you see this key? Oh, that's the key to the cage. Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly little girl? Well, that was odd. Where are you going? Where did you go? You go up here? Uh, alright. I'll go make that recipe real quick. But where did these girls go? They just disappeared. Okay, 
but I haven't taken my pills. Okay. Well, well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? So there's the, my theory saying that the uh, crazy pills and the uh, real world are like now intermingling, and now we don't know what is real and what is real and what is real. <laughs> but he opened the window, so does that mean I could get out and escape without Mr. Midnight? If that's true, then that means I have choices in this game, and it's a lot more deeper than I thought it was going to be. Uh, man, I don't know what to do. There's so many options, I guess. Uh, and I guess I will decide in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching this episode of Frambo, and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch a lot of exposition in this game. Uh, we were given a... Oh, man, I don't even remember what it's called, but uh, a motive, I guess, plainly to speak, of a way to release Mr. Midnight. That being said, we have that open window that we can maybe escape from, so two different type diverging branches that we can go on. But uh, anyway, um, that's besides the point. We'll figure that out in the episode. So thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See you later. So this video, I'm going to give my top 5 tips on how to make friends and other tips and other things. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, oh, ow. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. There's a lot more of you than I thought there was.